So guys, in the previous video, we saw how we can handle registration of the user and now it's time to go ahead and create login action inside our store. So inside my auth module, I'm going to create a new function just above this register user that will be async and we'll call it login user. This will again take a commit because we have to commit some data and also it will be taking user details so for example user password as well as the username and let me put that comma and now if I go to my Apollo playground in the browser we have this auth user query so I'm gonna quickly copy this thing from here I'm gonna register that thing inside this queries GQL and here again I'm gonna export a new constant export const authenticate user and this will be again a gql string and within this gql string i'm gonna paste my query so this will be our query to authenticate a user and i'm gonna bring in that inside my auth module after saving it i'm going to bring that and this will be authenticate user this one is authenticated user so this will give the authenticated users profile and this will authenticate the user so here we are going to look into this so it will be simply saying let data and from that data i'm interested in this value authenticate user so let me copy that and paste it so i'm destructuring it from the payload that we'll get from the apollo client and again we can simply copy this part and paste it and now instead of this register user const query it will be a query instead of mutate so query then query will be this string that we just brought in so let me copy that too paste it and now that user data that we are passing this will pass that thing and from that the payload part will be the same just like this one so i'm gonna quickly copy this and here just bottom we can paste that too so now we are getting authenticate user and here we'll pass those payloads which will having our user as well as the token so we can say here we are setting the token inside the local storage and this one here we are just passing that user object in order to mutate the state or the commit this state so that's how we will do it and let me quickly bind this action and uh, let me rename this it will be login and let me bind this action with our login form so let me quickly close this register not even the nav bar let me shrink everything store inside our login now we'll call this action so we can do that by bringing map actions from vuex that we saw in the previous video map actions and then we'll populate this whole original method with this one so i'm going to spread that map actions here and we'll bring in our login user method and which will be coming from auth module and this will be login user and now once we submit this form this will automatically call this action that we have already created authenticate user and this will now become asynchronous because this will take some time and we'll call this method await login actually this dot login user now this method has become the local property of this component so login user and here we'll pass this user so whatever the user credentials were there we were passing we'll pass that here in future videos we will configure our view validate in order for the validation of these input fields but for now that would just do the fine for us so let's go and check it in the action so firstly i'm going to log out the user let me it is working fine just like that we are getting our user and everything after reload so from my application i'm going to quickly delete this and let's reload it first 
So now our user is logged out. We no longer see this dashboard route links. Now let me quickly go and log in. So I have one user created Nandi Mandy. Password was this and let's log in first. So I logged in and now you'll find that we have the token and now we also got that Apollo client uh, inside a view. We can see that set token and everything is coming fine. So let me quickly clean this first. We'll handle that in a error handling, but for now you'll find this GraphQL query. We are getting the authenticated user and we are also setting the state of the token as well as the user object. So in this user object, you'll find that we have that user and that's my user credential that you can see here. Everything is working fine. So pretty basic stuff now. And now you'll find that it's very easy to handle. But one more thing, like you can see, we have this payload. And the same thing we are doing here. So why not create one action to handle this stuff and then call them according to our own needs. So we can do that also. Just after this one, let's call this for now set payload type of action. So async set payload. Or we can call it or in a more sensible way we can set user data and also we can call it set auth user data and this will take a payload and also commit because we are going to commit something and payload so for now we are just going to call it payload and let me cut this out from here and gonna paste it inside this and now we no longer need this commit here instead we'll extract the dispatch so that dispatch will be able to access only the local properties of this auth actions here. And instead of this register user, we are going to deal with the payload and our payload will be having user as well as the token. So we can call this dispatch here and view X will automatically know that we want to call this action. Oops, control Z copy and we'll pass that action here. And inside that, we want to pass this payload that we are getting from the backend or the Apollo client. And let me copy this part again. And here also, we no longer need this commit. Instead of that, we need a dispatch. And we'll get rid of this part, paste it. And now here, we'll be passing this payload. So overall value will be the same. The action will be the same. And now we are calling this action using this dispatch. And it will push the user to the dashboard route. So let's see in the action now, we'll go to our app. Let's log out the user. We'll handle this part in a moment. But for now, if I go to the application, get rid of this token and let's go to the login route auth slash login. And let me log in. I logged in. Now this is working fine for us. And now if I go ahead, let me quickly see all that users inside the database because I want to clean my database first. So I'm going to open in a new tab with docker exec dash it and I'm going to use Mongo image. If you are using Atlas or something like that, you can go to the query wizard and you can directly delete all those things if you want to. But here I'm going to check for the DB. So I'll call show DBs. We have this post GQL app. Use post GQL app. And now if I write show collections, you'll find this user's collection. And I'm gonna explore through this user's collection. Users.find. And then we have a pretty. So these are the users that we registered in the previous videos. So I'm going to quickly drop this database now. So db dot drop data base. And now that database no longer exists. So if I go and reload this app, we no longer find that user. So now we'll get a graph query error. So now we are going to handle that now. So this made the request. 
and now we are getting that error that you must be authenticated since we have no user inside the database that's why we are not authenticated so now we can create a logout route and we'll handle this part here so let me quickly wrap this inside the try cache block and that will be try and we have a catch block this will take the error object and if any case we get any kind of error from the backend we'll log out the user here so i'll pass a dispatch so we can call that action using this dispatch here and first let me create that so we'll simply say logout user function and we'll call this action using this dispatch method so vuex will know that this is a local function of this or the local action of this auth module so we'll log out the user and we are not requiring here any kind of payload we just need commit so in this commit i'm gonna create another commit that will be log out user and that we can handle it here log out user and this will take the state and we'll set everything to the null whatever we have so let me copy this part and we'll set the token to the null also so that's fine equal to state dot user equal to empty object state dot auth status will also become empty and also state dot token will become null so now if i save it and now if i go ahead and check that out our app is loading and since we don't have any user it has automatically logged me out so that's how we can do this and now we'll work on the logout functionality but before let me create one user since we have cleared our database from the backend so nandy mandy or let me make nandy mandy nandy mandy 11 nandy mandy 09 at the rate hotmail.com and password my super secret password um, will register and now we are logged in and now if i reload we have we still have that user logged in with that token and now we are still getting that user so nothing is going wrong so far and now here we are going to create this logout route so we can do that inside our router in our dashboard group we needed a third route so let me copy that paste it and this will go to the dashboard slash logout and we'll name it logout and here before in getting into that component here we'll log out so we have access to something called before enter and this will be an arrow function and this will be coming from to from and next and here we'll log out user so we'll call our dispatch we'll dispatch this logout action that we created just now so let me get shrink this one we'll dispatch this action from there so let me copy that and also to access the store we need to bring in our store so we'll simply say store from store and we'll bring in our central store and we'll dispatch this so we'll simply say store dot dispatch and we'll access to auth slash logout users so it will automatically know this part and then we will be redirecting our user to the login page so we can simply say that next auth slash login so once the user is logged out 
we'll go to this before enter to from and next will be done so let's see in the action if i click on the logout you can see we are logged out so that's how we'll do it and after that once this is done let me log in first so we have a nandy mandy password and login we are logged in uh, we username not found so nandy mandy one one or nandy mandy one was the username and still we no longer find this user so i think i forgot this username let me check that inside the database so i'll simply say show dbs and since we have added new data it has automatically created a new database inside a mongodb instance db use post gql app show collections we have users db.users.find pretty so these are standard mongodb functions and we have an andy mandy one one that's why we are not able to log in so we'll go to our browser and log in and now we are logged in we are able to log out and password is now invalid we are getting these passwords and everything from the backend so you can see this message and in the next video we'll put some kind of toast in order to pop this notifications in case of anything happens anything goes wrong we'll get those things we'll do in the next video but for now this is working fine and let me log in now we are logged in we can log out and this functionality has been achieved so that's it in this video and in the next video we'll start looking how we can add the notifications and the toast for the messages and error so hope you like this video content and in the next video we'll start working on other part too so thank you guys and if you are enjoying this series you can simply leave with a comment and like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like me to create more content just like this so thank you guys i hope i see you in the next video